We are Five Live. I'm Bobby T. And I'm Martin. And I'm Chris. And we are live for a ninth time. Hopefully, no technical difficulties. <laughs> oh, no, no promises whatsoever. <laughs> I expect no one to ever see this video because we're going to probably have to delete it. Oh, yeah. No, no. So, probably right now, as always, there's probably some kind of <laughs> that we're mm -hmm. hearing. This mm -hmm. always happens for about the first 40 seconds. I don't know why. Uh, but once we get God, past that, we have our live show. It's because you touch yourself at night. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so, um, we did go a little nuts this week. Yeah, just to, just to So, <laughs> all right. So, we actually had a really good week uh, in the blind box territory, in oh, the clearance territory. I thought you meant in life, a really good week in with life in general. No, we don't We don't get those. No, we don't get too many of those. So. <laughs> we it's both true. work in retail. That is <laughs> true. <laughs> so, um... No, we did really have a good week on, on the clearance, really. Yes. Uh, there's a huge push out right now at Walgreens, of all places. Yes. Uh, Walgreens was dropping blind bags for between $0.59 cents and $1.09. Wow. And this was including um, these Transformers pieces that we have. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's open one of these up. Let's see. Are so these more these... than meets the eye? No, no. All right. So I did I did open these ahead of time. They're exactly what you think they are. They are they're solid figures. Uh, okay. Um, and the way they kept these cheap was kind of uh, ingenious. They did. Did they Marvel five hundred it? Is that what? To a they, certain extent, yeah. but it's not that terrible. Mm. Uh, oh boy. Uh oh. I kind of disagree. I got I got some sort of. All right. I I got some sort of Herbie replacement. I am not wearing. Oh yeah, well. Oh, we got fix, fix it. Fix it. That All right. looks like a. Uh, uh, oh, a but. However, Chris, that is awful. That looks like a robotic Mega Man, yeah. but I got um, uh, Optimus Prime. And that's yes. pretty awesome. That so cool. mine is Springload, who's a uh, crocodile. So pretty uh, cool. I like it. Um, these were 59 cents a piece. Um, that's why I'm happy, I think, for these. I think yeah. if I had to pay the two ninety nine to three ninety nine each, I'd be pretty mad. Right I don't now. know. Yeah. I uh, really like the look of that Beast Wars Megatron. Oh, I think yeah. if we got that in a blind box, uh, I'd be pretty happy with See, that. Yeah, I, I like the Drift, the one direct. Actually, really kind of that row. Yeah. Fracture, Drift, Shockwave. Shockwave. Like, that'd be... A, so, actually, I did... The ones I did open ahead of time are... One of them is... Uh, fracture. No. Let's see where else on the card. I got something else. Oh, here's the other one. This one was from a different series, I think. Oh no, here it is. He's Repugnus. That's just dumb looking. Yeah, some of them are pretty bad, but I think where they hit him on the head, they really hit him on the head. Um, so yeah, Wheeljack looks pretty cool too. So but which we one is the racist one? <laughs> I don't think he's in this series <laughs> oh, actually. Oh, that's a shame. So this um. <laughs> At fifty nine cents a piece. No, no, but they're not bad for fifty nine. Not bad at all. So especially with the card, uh, I think that's pretty good. We got the the okay from uh, Mrs. T saying that uh, sounds perfect. Awesome. So that's so we're gonna have to do something to mess this up on our on our own. So, yeah, no, gonna this happen, is gonna yeah. this is gonna take like a racist outburst <laughs> or something. So speaking of that, so Martin, <laughs> your, let's hear what are your opinions on. <laughs> so. uh... I, as you pointed out, it Our was a good week. racist. No, no. Oh, 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 oh okay. And it, it was a good week uh, for uh, did you have to use, and stuff. Did you have to use your AK? I did not. Oh, so, that is um, a good day. I went to the Walgreens in uh, in Southington, and I, uh, I'm standing there in the toy aisle looking at the stuff. My son is with me, and this old lady comes around the corner out of nowhere. And when I say old, she's mid-80s. So she's up there. And she starts talking to Rory out of nothing. Just, not, oh, you're going to school and you're too young and that. So then. It's surprising, though, because normally it's Rory running yeah, yeah. up to strangers yeah, exactly. and initiating yeah. conversation. So, uh, so she, uh, she starts talking to him and he's just ignoring her because there's toys in front of him. So. As he uh, should. Right. Yeah, and I'm just I mean, trying to be nice. Toys roll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to be nice and answer her questions and she. Then she asks his name, and she can't understand his name. Uh, so I try and spell it for her, mm -hmm. and she's still not getting it. So wait, now I know your kid. Maybe your your son said Rory. No, no, no. Or... I said it to her. Oh, you said Rory. Yeah, R O R Y. And then I spelled R O R Y, and she kept saying. Roy. And what is his Roy. social security number? <laughs> Nothing at all. Can you say that on the no. internet for everyone, all the fans? Let's get that so out. So, anyways. There. Um, Good old Roy. Yes. Roy. <laughs> <laughs> like a Good bunch guy. of little... Uh, so anyways, um, so 
she starts telling, talking to me, and you know how older people will start talking to you as if you've lived with them your, their entire life, mm-hmm. so you know they're... <laughs> she's just telling me stories, and I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't so know who your brother John is. Yeah. Tell her about just, good old days. Exactly. You know, like... and, no, no, and this is where it gets weird, because <laughs> then she starts telling me about her clients, because mm-hmm. she's some sort of... She said letters, and I didn't catch the letters, so... Mm-hmm. Did and she spell like, them out for you? She, no, no. Oh. <laughs> so then she goes... She's like... And then my clients, you know, they're all Puerto Ricans and says it like she was giving a car away to someone just as loud as possible. <laughs> and, and it's at this point that a Walgreens, she must be a regular customer yeah. because a Walgreens employee walks past me. What are you doing out of the back no, room? <laughs> he walks past me and just gives me the look like, oh God, I'm so sorry you got caught in the net. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, in every retail establishment has There's, this Exactly. People. Like, so, there's always that one person, that, like, we all know who they are. Yeah. They come in constantly. Yeah. When, so her, her, racist, so. her racist point was that um, these people are changing their names to try and blend in better. <laughs> yes. Assimilation. And That's their last names, she was, trying to, she was trying to make the point that they were changing their last names, and then she's, like, bringing up points of last names and going, can you believe it? Oh, you should have said, I can't. I can't. I, not I, even I, a little bit. I actually did. I was like, no. I, I, that's insanity. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to get out of there as quickly as possible. Like, I've got a basket, and I'm just trying to put many, as many things in it. Oh, it was You're like, just leave me alone, you old bag. You're like, knocking things over <laughs> to get into it and trip her up. <laughs> just still on. Like, yeah, it was, yeah, I gave her the old Heisman, and then I got out of there. <laughs> when, uh, when the, um... The North Carolina bathroom law thing was was big a, a few months ago. Mm-hmm. I think actually almost last year now. Last year, yeah, it's been about a year. Yeah, uh, I had a customer who who came into my store and gave me a whole lecture about how he doesn't want his you know daughters uh, using the same bathroom as uh, as you know the. Um, as, as, a, as a person who identifies themselves as a woman and this and that other thing, and, you know, he's afraid that something's going to happen and this and that other thing. And I said, why is it that a person who's a man that wants to be a girl or vice versa, why does that automatically make them some kind of sexual deviant? You know, it, it's just there. It, it's nothing to do with that. It you should just, see my see <laughs> my internet history. <laughs> it has nothing to do with that. I have a sexual and, deviant, and you just walked and, into my store. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> But yeah, he like gave this whole lecture about it, and I I told him to leave. I, I was like, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, I don't feel comfortable having yeah. this conversation, and it's not the proper place to to be having this conversation. And, and he needs to leave. And uh, he got mad at me, of course. And uh, I just kept telling him to leave. And, <laughs> just beat it. Yeah, and eventually he. And he, he started throwing it. Pokemon toys at him. Yes. <laughs> I was so, like, take that, you deviant. Go <laughs> now. So <laughs> like some Pokemon toys to get off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clear it's over there. Exactly. Um, so to lighten the mood a little bit, yes. I did read and, and actually it kind of made me think of the president and then he stared at the sun during the eclipse. I don't know if you guys saw yeah, that little a, he's genius brain Dude, moment. He's a, he's a uh, rebel. But there was a rapper mm-hmm. who had said and his tweets are the most amazing and I and I can't remember his name. I'm gonna have to look it up. Uh, it was just as fresh in my mind. Uh, his tweets start with uh, the morning of the twenty first saying, I've been staring on and off at the sun my whole life with no problem. What makes this brighter? <laughs> then, he says, the next tweet's like, I was uh, staring at the sun and all that ever happened to me was I would see different color dots for the rest of the day. Then after the eclipse, yeah. like two days later, it's, I have, sorry, I have to cancel three dates because of... <laughs> Dude blinded himself. Yes! Staring at me. Yes! I can't, Uh, like, it's so good because there was the meme going around with everyone saying, like, Like, I wonder how many dummies, how many Americans were so, were, you know, were so against everything. Will we just stare at it? One. Yep. (laughs) So far we got one. How many more are there? So let's lighten the mood up and open up some more toys. We're going to keep on the, uh, no, let's move on. Let's, let's, we'll check out. Yes! These. So these were insanely cheap, uh, and we got a whole lot of them. These are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Mega Blocks blind bags. Now, did you have to deal with racism to I get did. these? Yes. Yeah, this is, that's, that's, this is what I got at the Walgreens. I do have the razor down there, too. So, 
about. Yes, I did have to deal with uh, the racism, get them, but well worth it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for no, you guys, nice. for you, this the is loyal what I do viewers. for you, That's right. the loyal viewers. So, uh, okay, guys, uh-huh. I don't even know what I got. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. You got, uh, what the hell? I don't know. Oh no, that's a guy. Hold on, he's like parts, but he's a guy. All right, so this one I think is series three that yes. I opened up. Yep, that's what um, I opened up as well, and I believe that's what we gave Chris. Chris, no, Chris has series, has series one. one. Yeah, yeah, I'm number one, one alive, oh, nice. baby. So now, <laughs> interesting, that is going to end up being a double. Uh. So we will more than likely be seeing a Michelangelo Mega Blocks popping up into our 100 subscriber. Uh, ben, let's see. So Once we hit 100 subscribers, we will be raffling away a prize package filled with all sorts of goodies, including uh, a lot of the stuff that you see us opening every week. And a lot of stuff behind you in these yep. cases. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. That at 100%. Look, guys, um, I don't have special effects right now listen, like in our normal videos, so our... I will Hadouken you for real <laughs> in this case. One of our loyal viewers wants that Green Ranger. I think we have to give it to him. Exactly. Yeah, I don't yeah. think so. One of, our, so. one of our loyal viewers wants this Dell. <laughs> our, no, I'm sorry, guys. You keep messing up the word. Our loyal viewer. The viewer. Yes, I apologize. <laughs> yeah. No, there's two. My mother watches. Okay, so this Your is like a, I'm cool. This is like Krang. But these are the Mega Blocks guys. So they have the articulated knee, the uh, ball jointed shoulder, um, uh, ball jointed head. This is so awesome. These are really great figures, and they were ranging between fifty nine cents and a dollar nine. Exactly. Um, I was telling Martin that when I got to the store and I saw them at fifty nine cents. I literally, I just put my fingers at the back of the hook, <laughs> and I put my basket underneath, and I just cleaned off the peg. I did that with the Ninja Turtles. I also did that with the um, the uh, Transformers. Transformers stuff. Because they're more than me, so yeah. They, and we, uh, so, yeah, these are pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, I got oh. Stealth Leonardo. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. Uh, well, that's, that's also a double. I was just going to say, that yep. is also a double, as we did yep. grab another one of those. So that's perfect. Um, now the other. Now see, that's racist. Why does Stealth Leonardo got to be black? Because he fights in the dark. <laughs> Why would you want to be any other color? So, um, all right. He so be now, like camo. Why not? Why? Why can't? I guess if in the, you're in the dark, it doesn't really matter whether it's camo or as long as it's not glitter. Right? Uh, yeah, I guess. So uh, some of the ones that I had opened earlier are. Here, we'll throw these guys up on top here. Oh, now, see, this is pretty creepy. He doesn't got, have eyes until you put the bandanas on. Until you put the thing on. Yeah. Oh, so, so when terrible. you put the bandanas on, the easiest way to do it is from the back forward. You, you latch them like there's a little notch on the back of their head. Uh, it's going to yeah. sit in the notch, and then it pulls right over their eyes. Um, so, and another one we got was the April O'Neil. And she's actually really cool. She does come with a gun. I don't quite understand. April uses a gun on the cartoon show. Does she? Show. This okay. cartoon's actually really, really good. Um... I uh, love the figures from this. Even the um, the five inch figures by Playmates yeah. are amazing. Uh, in the past, we've shown that I've picked up some of the uh, the wrestling those figures. Ones. The yeah, the wrestling guys. I've also picked up um, the Asagi Ojimbo and a few others. I really like the bad guys from this line. They're the weirdest, just like grimiest looking dudes. Here, throw that up there. Grimy. What's this guy? Guts and grime. You know what, guys? I, I'm still... So let's talk about... Uh, we'll, we'll move on to our... Uh, Grits and gravy. What are we going to say? What are you watching? What are you watching, Chris? Uh, I'm still watching anime. Uh, every... I think it's Wednesday. Um, there's new episodes of Classroom of the Elite, which I'm watching. Um, it was uh, it was a very fillery episode this this weekend, as I as I texted you guys uh, yeah. uh, this week. You know, it was uh, summer break and they were at the pool. That and, is uh, now, however, that is Chris's favorite dude, kind yeah, of episode. That is, so. uh, it was actually pretty funny uh, because they were trying to spy on the girls um, getting changed, and they create they created this like this crazy <laughs> elaborate ruse. Uh, to to get them all out of the the changing room so that they could set up all this equipment that they needed and then so and wait then, this is like Revenge of the Nerds where they're like yeah up cameras yeah basically and yes yep and then the main character uh, Koji he ruins it all in one moment when he tells uh, he tells the girl the the other main character uh, Harikita that they're what the plan is and okay so, she, so this is classroom of yes the yeah so okay. she knows all about the plan and even though after they spent all this time uh you know going through the the plan and following all the uh 
all the instructions and directives and everything like that. Uh, they were even like, you know, doing like Morse code to each other and stuff <laughs> like that to like, you know, send out their messages and everything like that. It was, it was amazing. Um, I still am a little disappointed with the show though because it seems like there's a lot of stuff like bubbling under the surface. There's a lot of stuff going on uh, that they mm. kind of hinted at in previous episodes. But they, like, for whatever reason, they refuse to, like, touch on it. And I don't know. It, it's already, what, I think episode you seven? You touch on it. Exactly. Uh, every <laughs> night. There's a... I think it's, we're on episode seven. So um, there's got to be, what, four episodes left to 12, you know, 12 in a, in a season. Mm-hmm. So, or five um, episodes left. So I don't... I, I don't know if it's just gonna keep like going this trajectory, and then like the right. last like two or three episodes, everything's gonna everything's gonna like come to a head, and it's like, dude, come on, you're 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 letting this go at episode twelve, or I don't know, maybe if it's a twenty four episode season, then uh, then they'll just keep going. Yeah. So then I can kind of you that, see why the pace. Yeah, is that's a little bit more okay. forgivable in that sense. Uh, I'm also watching Gamers, which li- uh, simulcast on Thursdays uh, mm-hmm. on Crunchyroll, and that one I think is my sleeper hit of the season. It's so yeah, funny. you were saying that's yeah. what you really like so far. It's it's really really funny. It's just all about like a comedy of errors, you know, so and so like so and so. Oh, comedy they, of errors. So it's five alive. Yeah, yeah, basically. You Live know, shows. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, and. Uh, the, the two main characters, um, Karen and uh, Amino, finally uh, went out on a date uh, this last episode, and uh, it was really funny. So um, I definitely recommend it. What are you watching, Martin? Um, they finally put Stand Against Evil on Hulu. Nice. Stand Against Evil was a show that uh, was on IFC last year around Halloween three time. Of these? Yeah. Oh my god! It is. Um, it was created by Dana Gould, a comedian, um, and it's essentially a horror comedy uh, show. Um, It's about a uh, town in New Hampshire where the constable uh, went on a witch-killing spree and Mm. killed more witches than anywhere uh, 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 ever, over 172, and all the bodies are buried in one cemetery, and because of that, all of the constables who've ever been, or sheriffs of the town, have been cursed, except for this one sheriff, his name is Stan, played by John McGinley. Okay. And... Uh, he re- uh, his wife dies, and so he retires, and a new sheriff comes in, her, uh, played by Janet Varney, and she starts getting these death threats or, or um, these things. And it's very much in the vein of um, Ash vs. Evil Dead or um, The Evil Dead in that it's kind of campy, but also all... Um, all natural effects and almost no CGI or anything. Oh, right? wow. That's cool. Yeah, I'll all practical that effects, yeah. It's, it, is, uh, it is one of my favorite shows ever. Um, it's hilarious and just super well done. And uh, I, I can't recommend it. And it's only six, ep- uh, no, eight episodes the first season. And it leaves you on such a cliffhanger. Uh, I cannot wait for the second season to come out uh, this October. Now, I have a question about this um, stealth Leonardo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How come... With Michelangelo, the eyes are on the headband. Yeah. But then, this one, yeah, he's got... And even the regular Leonardo is the same way, too. Huh. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. that's weird. Hmm. Maybe it's the series. and uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Now, I've been... Uh, this week, Game of Thrones, yes, obviously. I'm oh, debating yeah. going back to the beginning. Really? Yeah, I'm kind of kind of toying with it, kind of with the knowing what I know now while I mm-hmm. see some things I didn't see. I um, hear in this last week's episode of Game of Thrones, you can see a truck um, in, yeah, uh, like in the, the back yeah, corner. Yeah, was telling me about <laughs> that. Yeah. It's a white truck. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I had something in my head. Oh, Future Diaries, which uh, Chris and I are doing a reviews of the Future Diaries, yes. three episode pieces. Uh, he has seen it. I have not, so I'm up to currently episode nine. Uh, it was 24 episodes, I yes. think you had said? 24, and then an OVA. They, yeah. yeah. So, we'll, I, I really think we should probably end up doing eight episodes, and then either a live episode of us doing live reaction, or something to that effect of the OVA. It, yeah. it, it'll be its own episode. Sounds good. Yeah, because um, the OVA kind of fixes a lot of things. Good, so, good, yeah. good. So, I um, also Rick and Morty. I just can't stop watching so Rick and Morty. Yeah. It, it's really to the point where I get to the end, and I'm like, you know what? I know it was 25 episodes ago, but I'll just go back to the beginning. <laughs> and just, again, what, with the seeing what I've seen and knowing what I know, mm-hmm. you see so much more. So, uh, another... He's diving deep into the Inceptions. Yes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Dude, that, that show gets gets deep on you. 
There you go. Oh, these so are, I, I was able to find more of the Star Wars Micro Machines. Uh, these were another, they were at the um, uh, Walgreens. These were $1.99 each. Wow, nice. Normal price, I think, three ninety nine. Wow. So. Oh, cool. Just yeah. a regular TIE Fighter. Oh, got another of no, these. this is the... a special black and red TIE Fighter. Well, that's the uh, the First Order TIE black Fighter. Black and yellow, black and yellow. All right, <laughs> so, got another one. Push to start. So, there we go. We got another Jedi Starfighter Woo! Uh, in the gold, so that will be going into the pack. And what do you got? This, isn't this um, Amidala's? Yeah, yes. uh, Naboo. that's a Naboo Cruiser. Yeah. Naboo Cruiser. So, uh, cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, what else have we got going on? Um, what are you guys reading? Uh, I am rereading the Young Avengers saga. Um, Young Avengers, for uh, no one who's ever read it, was a, create, a series created by uh, Alan Heinberg, who used to write for the OC, and uh, Jim Cheung. And it's basically um, uh, when the Avengers were kind of on the outs, they created a, a new um, Avengers with a bunch of young guy, a young, cool. uh, a bunch of new characters uh, becoming the Avengers, uh, and. Uh, super well done. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it. And they did two series and then um, a mini series explaining their connections to the Scarlet Witch and, and all that. Oh, stuff. excellent! So, yeah, um, I, I really enjoyed it because it, it unlike a lot of stuff when it comes in um, with, when it's new in the uh, Marvel universe, they kind of ignore the backstory and the, and the history. And this is steeps itself in the history, which I, I really enjoyed. Oh man, I like the wheeljack uh, yeah. figure. Yeah, wheel I think jack. we really kind of hit. We, we got a yeah. good a good patch of these. Yeah. Uh, the first one we got is Filch, is what I had opened. Uh, I believe Chris got, got Wreck Gar. Yep. He kind of has like a little Viking deal going yep. on. And then uh, Martin here got the wheeljack, uh, who looks like he's about to start sky dancing. <laughs> so uh, we may be getting joined by Tim tonight. Oh, that'll be nice. I, mean, I don't know. He said he doesn't know if he'll be getting off of work in time. Uh, if so, we'll talk a little more video games. Exactly. No, uh, I refuse to talk video games. What are you reading? Um, I am reading the um, the first issue of the Gundam. We'll just open up all this. Yeah, yeah. The Gundam Thunderbolt manga that I picked up at Akiba Underground. Oh, uh, nice. But yeah, I started reading that. It's actually pretty good. Uh oh. Um, oh. I like the <laughs> nice. I like the. Con get, oh, that's the Megatron. Yeah, yeah awesome. from Beast Wars. Um, I uh, I like the oh, yeah. the history of the the, the show so Chocolate. far. Chocolate. So. Awesome. And what do we got, got there? Autobot Twinferno. Dude, this yeah. is a, another really good pull. I, I think, think a couple really good figures, I good actions. See, okay, so the, my problem with this line is this: it's it's a pendulum. There's some that are absolutely amazing, oh, yeah. and then there are. I don't like this at all. It just looks. Which dumb. one is it? Oh, the Megatron. Megatron. I don't like it at all. I just think it looks dumb. I, like I don't that like one. the design of it. But I don't like the so design I of it. You. Had, I wonder if it had a repaint. <laughs> if you'd like it a little more. <laughs> Maybe, but yeah. And this Twin Inferno is awesome. So very cool. But yeah, uh, so I, I I read or I'm reading through the first issue of um, the Gundam uh, Gundam Thunderbolt, which we talked about at Occupy Underground. It's actually pretty good. I like the story so far, the history. Uh, it's basically like um, the Th Thunderbolt is the region uh, of space where it's like a huge just wreckage area, and uh, the these like rebels use that uh, area to do whatever plans that they're doing and stuff like that. And so this other country who's at war with these rebels are having to go in there and, and fight them. It's, and stuff like that. it's like international water. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's really neat. That's cool. So I've been reading uh, still. So I just finished the Majora's Mask version of uh, the manga. What I really like about it is, and I said this before in other past episodes, it's a legendary edition, so they are a little bit bigger. Uh, I like the way it looks on the shelf a little bit more. Just, a little more substantial as yeah. opposed to the normal ones, which are usually about this tall uh, in comparison. Uh, so my next one I'm moving on to is the Four Swords Legendary Edition. Uh, and then when I'm done with this, I'll probably, I think there was five in total. Okay. So uh, what I was saying I really liked about these is that when they get to the boss battles, you don't get mired in the dungeon. Mm -hmm. You're not stuck on ten pages of the dungeon. They kind of move right through it. You see the boss, and, and then you can kind of put together... You know what went on, which is I think what manga does. They they kind of give their readers a lot of credit. Yeah, um, 
just add in in between what happened. Well, know? I mean, isn't that what reading a book is about? Is using your imagination to yeah, create the scene but that, I do that feel they're like describing? Some American comics spoon feed you a little too hard, a little okay. too much exposition, a little too much uh, on the nosedness. Um, but what I do like about these two is you do get the first few pages are going to be in color, mm-hmm. and as we spoke before, then it, it switches over to the black and white, which is pretty standard. But uh, definitely worth it. At uh, this was seventeen ninety nine. This is also seventeen ninety nine. So yeah, it's funny in the uh, the Gundam Thunderbolt manga that I bought. Uh, it actually has instructions on how to read the manga. Uh, so like if you accidentally, because you know, not to let I can borrow your thing. Uh, manga is goes the opposite Ooh. way. Uh, you yes. know, from it's an uh, right to left as opposed to how we read from you know uh, mm-hmm. left to right. Yep. So in the in the. Mm-hmm. Gundam manga. There's actually a warning page when oh, you uh, yeah. when you open the book up. If you open it for the wrong end, it says stop. You know, this yeah, is stop, wrong. go yeah, back. Yeah, exactly. And then so, it showed the first page of the next yep. one will be. Yep, it's actually pretty it. interesting. Tie scepter and a gold tie bomb proper. I think that's the- the TIE, Tie Bomber, Bomber is a Tie double... I think that's Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Oh. No, that Tie, could, fi- a TIE Bomber's got two. It's into two, yes. It's this got could two. Either I think be... that's Vader's. Yeah, this looks like Vader's, actually. He, he does have the longer one. Let me say that differently. That's Vader's. Yeah. That's... <laughs> <laughs> well, that was pretty cool. As a matter of fact, I think we even have that TIE Fighter might even be up behind us somewhere. We'll be giving Ooh, that, that away one? when we it's hit 100 someone subscribers. Someone on a speeder bike. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's all right. So this is Kane and Jara from um, from uh, Star Wars Rebels. Star Wars Rebels. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> uh, what else do we have up here? Oh, so all right. This is actually kind of a good little segue. Sure. Um, Chris and I, going forward, we're gonna watch Sentai. Yes. Up after soon. after we finish up our future diary um, review and everything, uh, we will have. We'll have uh, Bobby T pick out a uh, a Sentai series. I don't know which one you've... Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm still kind of bouncing around. Okay. I don't really know. So, right. so yeah, he uh, hasn't decided yet, but we will... We did just get an Eating Tim walking into the house. I don't know if he's ready to jump onto, uh, <laughs> onto the scene if you guys want to watch him eat his salad. You probably can hear him eating the salad at this point, but no. All right, so uh, I did get three packs of these. These are the new uh, Mega Constructs. Which I wonder if Mega Blocks is just sounds like they're moving in this direction. Yeah, that's going to be their uh, name. I uh, I will not be watching that Sentai because they don't want to hear me bitch and moan about no, how terrible it is. No, absolutely not. Because it's, <laughs> because not, it's terrible. not terrible. Exactly. That's the thing. Thank it's you. really not there. Where's that razor? Give me that razor. <laughs> Thought you had your own. Get your no. own. Thought you had it on your he, table. I, he stole it. <laughs> so watch out. I don't know if there's a if that card that's in there is a is like a traitor card or you're a traitor. <laughs> no, no, we got we got razors on the table. Okay, I got a red ranger. Oh. I got a green ranger. Hell yeah! I, what not, the hell though? Did it come with a shield? No, there's That's more parts cool. and a double red ranger. I'm not enamored with the design on these. I'm not enamored okay. with your face. Now here's my problem. See, so it's no the mega, <laughs> it's the mega constructs, but it doesn't have the bendable knee like the other mega. Right, it doesn't have, have the uh, articulation. Yeah. No. Uh, okay. So while I kind of like this, kind of weak. I do yeah. like the the helmet though. There I don't. There seems to I be a like lot. Of, oh, you got a weird like clear one though. But like, look at look at the green one. Yeah. I don't know. I like it. Dude, Martin just hates anything. He just really yeah, hates. Yeah, I don't. Oh my god! Japan. Shut up. <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with my the design of the Power Rangers. I just. I just don't. I think the front of it looks weird. Yeah, I, I again, I think it has a little bit more to do for me with the lack of articulation, especially seeing yeah, well, as that's... currently we're seeing Mega Constructs put out the Alien He Man and um, right. I always forget the third one, and it's something I really right. like. Star Trek. Star Trek. Get these damn doubles. Yeah, let's get some doubles out of there. We got a few. I think there's a double Michelangelo. Yeah. Uh, I think that's it. I, I do like it. the dagger too that it came with. Oh, wow, he does come with a dragon dagger. All right, so, look, I, I'll give him a three and a half out of five Dude, lives. I mean, how much, <laughs> how much do we pay for these, or how much did you pay for these? Three. These are three oh, bucks. Oh, okay. So these were normal price. These, yeah. these were new. Then I... Um, that Zed looks terrible. Let me see. Oh, the Lord Zed looks really bad. Yeah. The White Ranger looks awesome. Yeah, the White Ranger is like pretty the putty, cool. the Putty Patrol, too. Yeah, I think the Zed is definitely going to be the turd of this line uh, in more ways than, than imaginable. But the White Ranger does look cool. <laughs> the painted on abs of the Zed. Oh, that's the... You didn't know all abs should be painted on this. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. I, I've only got one more uh, 
Ninja Turtles. I'm going to keep that for me. Screw you guys. And what are these? Uh, more the tiny yeah, I got tiny. some more, but this is Series 3, I series... believe, or Series Green. Yes. So this, I have a, a Series 1 Ninja Turtle. I'm really hoping for a Foot Soldier. Unicron. Oh, cool. It's going to be a turd. Oh, that is terrific. Oh, What'd man. you get? Cheetor. Nice. This is Unicron is as voiced by Leonard Nimoy. That is terrific. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. I like it. I think it needs better paint, but that's I think that's kind of just what we're dealing with here. But yeah. I think sculpt wise that's that's not bad. I like Cheetor. Cheetor, nice. <laughs> Alright, who do I have here? I haven't These seen one of my favorites from oh, the yeah. Beast Wars. And show. we've got a shredder double. Nice. So Oh uh, wow. Uh, Interesting. That's what you get. They do the black bags on the inside, so you can't hold them up to the light uh, and see what you got there. That's cool. Clearly, right, you didn't think about uh, doing that because we have, otherwise, yeah. yeah, you have a lot of double. What do we got? Two. Life. There we go. So while we are doing this, let's talk about what are you listening to? I uh, just listened to Kenny Omega on uh, the Edging Christian podcast. It was awesome. Um, a, he just seems like an amazingly cool dude, and uh, just a super nice Canadian kid. Nice. And. Uh, yeah. And he talks. He talks uh, about um, talks about how he got to where he got and how he's not. How he got to the point of having to wrestle kids and, and yeah. brooms. Well, yeah, no, exactly. And then basically, how you know how he, when That's he was awesome. in. No, that is really cool. When he is in, when oh, he was in developmental for uh, WWE. Um, no, no, doubles go here. Doubles go here. Here we go here. We ain't got no room, bitch. Um, <laughs> well, we'll do a clear out for when we get to here as well. So, uh, we'll do a... But anyways, um, it basically how he, when he was in WWE developmental, he could never do that. He could never be that type of person. And he always felt that, you know, he could... He was, that... like, he was like, Vince, this is going to be a great idea. I'm going to wrestle a broom. It's, <laughs> and, and Vince was like, it's not going to happen. Ah, and, only, uh, only, uh, that's only that's in a poop job in closet. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, so Vince, uh, Vince wouldn't let him oh, wrestle the broom, so he this left. Was awesome. That does look pretty cool, yeah. Um, Dude, I think yeah. we kind of, there was a couple turds in here, but for the most part, I think we really uh, but, did get uh, a couple cool figures. But as far as that goes, uh, I'm also reading Randy Orton's Twitter. Nice. <laughs> because. Ironically? Uh, no, I, I don't understand. He made an amazing, he made an amazing uh, joke. Uh, some, there is a Twitter, bo uh, there's a Twitter um, account it's called Creative Humor, and it basically just makes you know WWE jokes. Mm -hmm. And it made a joke saying that the only way this McGregor Mayweather fight would be better is if it took place in a Punjabi prison. Nice. And, <laughs> and Randy wrote, "Yeah, except for the fact that no one would be able to see anything because there's two walls of bamboo in between the crowds of matches." Dude, it's the <laughs> worst match, Vince. Can you just let it die? Dad, Daddy Vince, can you just let it die? <laughs> nah, man, uh, I need more Punjabi prison, I think. No, no one needs more Punjabi prison. <laughs> and also reading how everyone loves just about, uh, all the same parts of the Kevin Owens, AJ Styles match from SummerSlam that we loved. Yeah. The Kevin Owens giving Shane McMahon shit about being able to fall off a building and hop back up, but not being able to take a head bump. Yeah, but he can't <laughs> get, like, let's... Shane McMahon was in a helicopter crash, but when you hit him like this, exactly. he's out. So there's a shredder maybe, for you. Maybe the extra spray tan weakens his like his body, and, and then he can't he can't take the hit. So I ended up getting a uh, Optimus double and Blur, who was Blur. From, uh, so I did. Let's see. We got over in here. I see some oh. Rick and Morty toys. Are these for us too? Those are no, for, those are for the, the 100th uh, uh, subscriber. Is that what it is? Yep, nice. no, that's what's yeah. going in there. So I did get another Garbage Pail Kid. Nice. Why? And, uh, <laughs> well, I was at um, Walgreens. Uh -huh. $1.97. Uh -huh. So let's see. Feels like a double of that thing that we got with the yep, double. Yep. So... Again, going to the 100 subscriber. I'm saying you're gonna likely. get both of those. We're gonna start. <laughs> we're gonna start losing subscribers uh, because we're just giving purpose. away all the yeah, yeah all the stuff that they're like, dude, we don't want this. Duplicate you know, there crap. was there was a uh, there's an SNL joke where they had a these guys had a very early morning Minnesota uh, call in radio show and they would always get this prize money and they no one would ever call so they would just keep adding it to the prize closet. Mm -hmm. And they, they show the closet, and it's just overflowing, <laughs> spilling with prizes and money. So no one's ever called yeah. them. 
That's what's gonna happen here. My house yeah, is gonna be exactly. overrun. The the person who finally wins this is gonna get like a dump truck of toys. It's just, yeah, it's just gonna everything. This is drunk Mikey. It, he's pretty because, right. He even puked on himself. Yeah, you can see he's yep. got vomit yep. all over him, and his eyes are super wide. Yes, sir. Like he just took two tabs of ecstasy. Well, plus like his eyes are on top of his bandana. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. the whole thing is weird. It's weird. So um, all right. So last week we found that uh, Dorotin, Dorotin. Durotan. 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 Yeah. So, um, Durotan. I, look, mister, I will buy your truck, but I don't want the Durotan. <laughs> Not in my country. <laughs> so, uh, I was at Toys R Us today, found some uh, vinyl mystery minis for $1.97 <laughs> each. We know how much you love Warcraft, so I know that's why. Well, I did, I did play the game. Yeah. Uh, I still haven't <laughs> no, seen the movie. I, well, no, I did. I played uh, regular Warcraft. I also played World of Warcraft like, briefly. Are you, you're talking about normal Warcraft, like StarCraft, but Warcraft. Yeah, yeah Warcraft, okay. yeah, yeah, which I prefer over this. Yes. Now, apparently, this uh, the movie has more to do with Warcraft, the game, and not I think it actually Warcraft. just has to do, the movie has to do more, I think, with lore. With the mythos. The lore, yeah. yeah like, exactly, yeah, yep. it's not really. I'm sorry, I just really like the word mythos. Yeah. So these, <laughs> it all says bastard. that they're all one in, they're all one <laughs> in all. All, That's why all the uh, viewers hate <laughs> okay. They can just feel the pretension. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, all of these are 1 in 12, and... Oh boy, I hope I get Hot Orc. I hope I get Durotan. <laughs> Not in my house. <laughs> oh, that wizard looks pretty cool. Who do I got? Oh, I got Hot Orc. <laughs> oh, Hork. <laughs> oh, I got the wizard? Oh, that's really I, got, I like that. I got nondescript dude. I, he's probably, like, the star of the movie, he probably but is, I wouldn't but know. For real? No, no, I don't... An that looks like a squire. Yeah. That looks like a thief. Yeah. Like if we were to make them into D and D style like minis, you know? Mm -hmm. Wow. I, know. Oh, I like them at a dollar ninety six, especially. I wonder. Yeah, I Maybe change his face a little bit. Yeah. But he's got the little knife. He's he's not really doesn't have a sword. Hot <laughs> orc, man. Orc. <laughs> dumbest thing ever. So I was able to buy six of these. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, that one felt heavy. That one felt here. Let me throw this one at Chris. How does that feel? Does that feel heavy? It feels normal. Yeah, it felt pretty normal. <laughs> so, which World of Warcraft character is your favorite? You know, with your love of in World of Warcraft. Yeah, yeah. Or how about normal Warcraft? What you played the or the, the movie Warcraft? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Okay, so for the movie, I did not see yeah, the yeah. movie. Um, I thought it was your favorite pick of last year. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever so, we watched you, what do you, whatever we asked you, it was what always. Were you watching last year? It was always, I was just rewatching Warcraft. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Every time we <laughs> came down here in the arcade, it was just Warcraft. All Constantly. The time. <laughs> no, uh, for the regular game, I do prefer Orc. Um, if only because they kind of come out of the gate Holy ready to fight. Holy crap, that thing is awesome looking. Dude, that is brutal. <laughs> it's so metal. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, the picture... Oh, you're not showing him this. Oh, uh, that's pretty sweet, too. <laughs> now, that is an orc that is, that is so named metal. Baby Crusher 100% oh, yeah, no, of sure. the time. Oh, yeah. The beard... Think, oh, the okay. beard pretty sweet, too, though. What do you think Hot Orc's name is? Hork. Syphilis Catcher? Hork. <laughs> Horkus? Syphilis Crusher. <laughs> oh, dude. Crusher, man. He's awesome. <laughs> oh, I got the wizard. Oh, dude, oh, this is, okay, so this is kind of a there, cool, yeah. this is a cool poll. I think we did pretty good. Oh, man, I give myself cool, cool polls every night. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that is now the second <laughs> poll joke that uh, Chris uh, has. Oh, we're going to put the toys in here. Just throw them down the ground. So throw throw that wave in, and then we'll start opening a new wave of toys. All right. Do we what else? New wave. Except, grab uh, anything else? Baby Crusher stand oh, up. Baby okay. Crusher's awesome. So uh, at the tag sale... Last week at Jesse's, I did pick up some of these really cool um, Microman blind bags. Now, they, they were open, but I have not opened them. I don't know what's in them. We could be getting a ton of doubles. I really don't know. Doubles! Um, let's see. All right, so we have an, an unarticulated figure. Clear. and it, Okay, so it's got like the, the internal workings of a Micronaut, or a Microman figure for that matter. Uh, these are Takara blind bags. I think these came out around, there's no real date on them, but I think these are around like 99, 2000, if I'm remembering correctly. Okay. Hey, Beavis, while you're over here, do you want to grab me something to drink too, please? Now, around this time. Oh, sweet. Thank you. 
Pretend he's not here! <laughs> oh, I'm breaking the fourth wall! <laughs> <laughs> so now, around this time, uh, Takara was also doing um, some Transformers blind bags, and those had Build-A-Figure parts in them. That were pretty cool. It's one of the first real Build-A-Figures I think I've ever seen. does not want to go into the socket. Uh, you have to put the arm on... Okay, so the back comes off. Yes. Put the arms on first. Uh, well, so these are kind of cool. They're, you got a yeah. little diorama rama. Hey, uh, at a buck a piece, man. Yeah. I can't really complain. I actually kind of like this, the little base thing that it yeah. is. Yeah, the, yeah, the base thing is, is very cool. And then they all have different colors. So mine was like a darker gray. Yours has more of a metallic look to it. Uh, Chris has got gold. Uh, here you go. I have one that's mangled over here, so let's see what's in the mangled bag. Nothing. <laughs> Jesse robbed me for a dollar. Ah! <laughs> oh, speaking of Jesse, I actually... Ooh, that's rough. You can nice. eat the bubble gum and vomit? Okay, now the bubble gum inside? <laughs> Razzles. Of all things. It's not just the regular uh, bubble gum. Do but these it. are... Uh, do do, it. do it. These are Dune the Movie Trading Cards <laughs> by Fleer. Um, oh, wow. No. No. <laughs> No, sir. We are not eating that. Not gonna have, Maybe the 100 subscriber will get that. We're gonna wanna spritz that with water. Yeah, we're gonna wanna uh, do anything but eat that. Just oh, now, you. see, you gotta. If, I think we might have to ship that to the CDC. For real, man. Get that away from me. I think it just it might kill me. That was a pretty cool pack of cards, though. It's, you know, it's just movie cards. You know, scenes from the film, but uh, oh man, really hoping to get a Patrick Stewart in here. Nothing, all right, this in there, I can go in there. <laughs> yeah, they'll just biohazard that somewhere, get that off the table. What'd you guys open? Okay, so we, we got, got uh, uh, some doubles, some black one. Yeah, this black one. Cool, black, oh, black. throw those into the kit. Oh, oh black dynamite. Ow, black also, dynamite. randomly grabbed uh, <laughs> it's a pack of uh, Power Rangers cards. And let's see, it's got six Power Rangers trading cards per pack and one foil card. Nice. Uh, not like the ones that we had opened, where it was the same pack no yeah, matter yeah, which pack we had opened. Yeah, viewing globe as a card. Okay, that's just the nightmare. What the holy hell? And that's the other nightmare that it leads into. Nice. All right, well, no, this is these are some terrible cards. Uh, wow. But, okay, so <laughs> this is like a refractor <laughs> lenticular. <laughs> which one is that? Which one? Oh, the yeah. Gang. Just hanging out. Billy's Garage. Oh, the worst. So, uh, but this is pretty cool. The Triceratops Dinosaur in like a refractor type card. The Rad That's Bug. Actually, it's kind of cool. Ugh, yeah. Terrible. <laughs> it's just so what else do we got on the card? Oh, so my last thing on the card for, for my day here mm -hmm. was uh, for $2.49, I was able to get uh, AEG Games uh, Love Letter. Uh, it's a 20 card game. Uh, comes with. Uh, 16 cards, four reference tokens, and 14, or four, I'm sorry, four reference cards, and 13 tokens of affection. The point of the game is to woo the girl. Can I tell you something? You don't have to play a game with us to tell, for you to tell us that you love, love me. <laughs> Krizza, will you have my hand in here? <laughs> no, you know what? Um, I, it would be weird if we were ever together. The clones. It's, oh, yeah. That is... People would be like, did you just make a white clone of yourself? Yeah, that's super <laughs> weird. I'm so Plus, weird. Like, right but now. see, it would also be... A, a, Where's that box? It would also be a beautiful... Uh, it's over here. It's over yeah. here. I got it down And then uh, Dan, put these... Uh, these Get these, get these all four things of the exact it, same. Offer. It would also be a beautiful <laughs> union because our beards combined would just oh, be boy. that would be amazing. Come on, yeah, have to admit no, that. that would be. Do you imagine the clog train in our home? It'd be awful. The, plum, the plumbing bills alone. Jeez. Yeah, no, you got to leave Baby Crusher out here though. He's too. Oh bad. yeah, no, he doesn't go away. Baby, Baby Crusher stays. Dude, Everything this guy might know. become our freaking mascot, man. He is brutal he's as awesome. it gets. <laughs> Holy shit. I think I want a tattoo of this guy, but the only way you can get a tattoo of him, on your face. <laughs> so uh, do we do have Beavis. Tim here is, is yes. uh, lurking in the background. So, uh, Chris, you could probably have to scoot over yeah. towards me a little bit. And, oh, uh, man, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> let's go over what Chris got so we yeah. can actually clear off that chair for Beavis. And then, uh, I'm Tim. <laughs> he's he's giving me the slurm shakes. I got a bunch of random crap here. 
Uh, so, the, uh, some of the stuff Those was... the withdrawal shakes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, sit fairly close to Chris so you get up on camera. Uh, basically, so you know the line that you can't see is the line that is at the base of the uh, this display dealy here that we have. This Kiss Rock stage. So some yeah, of this stuff is on kiss. clearance and some of it wasn't. Uh, the Yokai Watch stuff, it comes with three medallions. It was on clearance. Yes, yeah, so this is 97 cents here. Uh, so now we're not, I'm not overly familiar with this. So, yeah. oh wait, hold on. Before we go any further, this is Tim. <laughs> yeah. Tim would be, I guess, number four in the four alive. In the five alive. Uh, in the five alive of us. Yes. Uh, in the future, we had just, we're talking, I think we're going to have to do a new arcade project. And then we're gonna have to have some kind of tournament playoff and yes. whip some, put some boots to asses. I think yes. just I will lose all of them and I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the yokai watch stuff, um, it's actually for a toy watch that you put the discs in, and then I think it projects the uh, uh, the, the spirits and everything like that. So they come with three discs that you can put in into the into the little toy there. Yeah. Maybe when the watch uh, gets clearance down. Yeah, when we get it down to like three bucks, we'll get the watch. watch. My my son loves this terrible show. Oh yeah, I mean Yokai watch is is basically yeah. See you 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 can see here. So you put it in the Uh, watch and then on the back. Yeah, Yeah. and then it makes like um, a music box. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's got the uh, QR codes on yeah. the back, so yeah. I got it, I got it. So, Yokai Watch is basically a... Uh, a it's more, a Pokemon Yeah, part. it's a, up, uh, an up-to-date Pokemon. Yeah. Um, oh, the art on these is pretty cool. Like, yeah. Uh, every now and then you get you kind of find a cool one. Actually, what the what the really cool thing about Yokai Watch versus oh, Pokemon yep. is is that with Yokai Watch, um, Yo- Yokai are basically spirits. Mm-hmm. Um, the spirits, uh, you you actually interact with them in the game. It's not like Pokemon, where like you just capture them and, and you know, and they say Pika Pika or whatever. Like these ones, you you actually talk to and and will have to have conversations with in the game to oh, okay. progress and stuff like that. Yeah, so it's a so little. I'm bit, seeing two here now. I'm talking about their political rhetoric. Right? That too. Yeah. That's my favorite uh, communist <laughs> Yokai. That's my favorite one. Oh look, the red ones right here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Stalin Kai. Stalin. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Stalin Kai Watch gets dark real damn quick. So I'm actually going to steal this from Chris almost immediately. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Right. I, well, I bought that just... specifically for you. Yes. Well, I'm stealing it anyway. I'm just going to feel good about it. But thank you very much. Uh, this was two ninety seven, yes. I believe. Yep. Yeah. Uh, was it any? It wasn't any cheaper. No. No. This is a Green Ranger um, can koozie. Yeah. Sorry, I, uh, Chris made this. I'm gonna say it's somewhere where uh, um, shepherd's pie meets tater tots tater, and cheese, yes, yeah. and it was delicious. And I've been burping it up this whole time. So, sorry guys, blame Chris. Um, yeah, it's all my fault. But yeah, Green Ranger, dude, that's awesome. Having a pretty good Green Ranger day. Yeah. Between this and the other thing. Um, well, he's your favorite. Uh, yeah. Yes, exactly. Right. Yep. There's that one. All of this, this entire cast. Abs- would be- absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, I have a question for you. Is the Green Ranger your favorite Sentai? No, no. Who? My favorite Sentai is Gokai Yellow. Uh, she's from Gokai. And she's from. Um, I could answer you this question. That's how many times I've heard this answer. <laughs> she's from uh, uh, Kazoku Sentai Gokaiger, which is the pirates. Mm-hmm. Um, she is one hundred percent a pirate at heart and does not give it up the whole time. Don't let the fact that other Sentais were around fool you into thinking she's a hero. This nice. is all for pay. Uh, but so, out of your, I guess, out of the Mighty Morphin Rangers. Okay, so yeah, out I of, well, out of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, mm-hmm. I would probably say Green Ranger. Uh, that's kind of the given. Um, out of Kyoru Sentai uh, Zoo Ranger, uh-huh. it would probably, it starts off, and that might be the one we watch because uh, there's a character transformation in there. It starts off, and I really like Geki, who's mm-hmm. the Black Ranger. And by the time we Reason. end it, <laughs> I'm all about the yellow ring. Okay. Like it, it turns from and uh, actually in this yeah, it's interesting. Right. <laughs> the, <laughs> the yellow ranger here in America was a girl and named Trini. Yes. Uh, then later on racist. Aisha, uh, once Double Trini racist. had left, <laughs> <laughs> that's racist. That's sexist. That's yeah. ist. It's it's ist. It's the Power Rangers. Um, we had a black ranger named the black ra- or a black guy named the black yeah. ranger. Um, but in this case, the Yellow Ranger in Japan is a boy named Boy. So, 
Avoiding yeah, I soup. think I think that might be where we end up going. A girl I, named Egg. I also <laughs> got. Is, are these official pog size? <laughs> Steve Whoa. Can I use my managers on these? I think we're playing pogs tonight. <laughs> uh, I also got these um, forty. Things that have been said in this basement <laughs> in at least ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I got these 40th anniversary Star Wars Matchbox figures. You got. Um, are yeah, we here, seeing Chris just tearing yeah, open well, figures? This is stuff for the. Here you go. These the are not Matchbox. These are Hot Wheels. Oh, Hot Wheels. Yeah, these these are are hot they wheels. are leading the way. Yeah, How dare are, you? I know. God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I got to leave. I got to leave. I got to leave. I'm going to the the gonna call now. shenanigans a little bit here on, uh, on Hot Wheels and Mattel. So, 40th anniversary is this year. 2017. Mm -hmm. What's the date on the bottom of that car? Uh, Re-release. 1811. Re-release bullshit. Ooh. They are jumping on the Hasbro bandwagon. That is what Hasbro oh, does. They release and they re-release and re-release. It's part of why I, I'm thinking about getting out of Star Wars Black. It's pissing me off. Uh, so these I'm interested in because it, they were super <laughs> they were super hot this year around Christmas, okay, but yes. I didn't know what the hell was going on with these. Hatchables. Yeah, these they ones are uh, collectibles. Exactly. Ah. These, uh, Collandibles. <laughs> these were not on sale, so they were but they were still only around I think two or three bucks, so not a bad deal. These are from Oh wow, and then you even have like an egg within an I egg. I think you have to hatch them, yeah. Oh Jesus! Do I have to like uh, sit on this goes, thing? Let me yeah. say. <laughs> Chris, I know you got to think for butt plugs, bro. Is that uh, what you just brought you, us? How many can you fit up your butt, uh, Tim? Is that, is that what we're playing? Is that, exactly. is that why I we mean, invited him? Oh wow! Okay, the egg, the, the line is actually like uh, yeah, it. jagged. Yeah. <laughs> Hold the egg in your hands. Rub the heart. When it changes from purple to pink, it's ready to hatch. Oh dear God! Gently. <laughs> let me see. Oh, Jesus, you're just watching a bunch, yeah. of, a bunch of idiots <laughs> in a <laughs> room. <laughs> Gently press right above the heart with your thumb to crack. Continue pushing until the egg top can Oh, be yeah, okay, you gotta heat it up. Oh, yeah. crap, look at that, it's starting yeah. to go. Is it chocolate? <laughs> Quick, eat it. <laughs> Isn't that chocolate? <laughs> oh, my God. It definitely <laughs> is. Okay, so, all it's right. It's like asbestos. That's kind of cool, you peel it away like it's yeah, a... Yeah, I got a... Uh, uh, Griffin a nightmare? thing, yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I got, oh, this is kind of cool, a little snail. Yeah, Cutesy right. snail. Oh, man. Why do they huh. all have yeah. wing, glittery wings? The, and they're winking. I've got this, like, yeah. awesome uh, koala. Is it? Oh, dude, that okay. definitely Okay, I do kind of like the koala. <laughs> all koalas have syphilis. That's, that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> so, Beavis, we, we've kind of run through it, uh, but... With quick answers, what are you reading? Uh, I am currently reading Stranger in a Strange Land by Robert Heinlein from 1961. Okay. <laughs> uh, what you watching? Uh, I just watched that show they put up on Netflix for some reason with Ted Danson, The Good Place. Never even heard of that. Oh, one. it does not have uh, uh, Kristen Bell. Yeah. I think is the other. Okay, yeah. that was an MB That's an it's NBC decent. show. I think it was actually decent. Is it huh? over or is it still or I other don't episodes? Know. It was one season. I okay. don't know what show or, or what channel it originally aired on, but I burned through it because you know, got to have something on in the background while you know, pulling on it. <laughs> <laughs> is this all you guys do when you're not at my house? <laughs> it's just like a constant stream of just video See, I mean, games. I live alone. I live just, alone, so I can you know. Yeah, the fact that you do this in your, in your roommate's bed. Dude, my, bathroom my just... roommate's uh, never home, so he doesn't <laughs> I mean, know where. Dancing, yeah. you know, I'm not going to. I mean, you do live with a ginger assassin. It's true. I have, to get back to, I, I have to get back at him whenever I can, you know. Be like, stealing he's my soul, and exactly. now I'm, you know, jizzing on your pillow. <laughs> it's, you know. He's constantly leaving those ginger all right. pubes all now that we're talking, <laughs> Now that we're talking about ginger pubes and jizzing on pillows, what are you listening to, Beavis? The doll. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually our answer yeah. almost every yeah, yeah. day. What are you reading? To Confederados. <laughs> oh, dude, I just listened to yeah. that. It's ridiculous. That one. Seems, I'm yeah, still, seems I'm still catching popular, up. popular popular show uh, uh, in here, The Dollop. The Dollop is pretty popular show. amongst three quarters of this table. Yes. So, Martin, you ran into a bunch of good deals this weekend yes, also. What did you get, man? All right, so um, I went into a GameStop uh, up, up the road from us a bit. And I was able to get this Disney Infinity 2.0 edition for five bucks. So 
Now, there seems to be an issue with this Right, box. yeah, because <laughs> uh, it's the PS3 edition. I, don't, I actually do own a PS3, but I don't own any functioning controllers for said PS3, nice. so I would never be able to use it. But it one of these with, ones right here. It came with, uh, no, those are going in the price package <laughs> for a hundred subscriber. It came with uh, Stitch and Merida. No fake you two accounts. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it came with Stitch and Merida from Brave. Um and I, those characters on their own, in second hand, are like three bucks to five bucks mm-hmm. a pop. So I got the two characters. Six dollars. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I got two characters for five bucks, and then um, uh, the prize pack, and the person who wins the prize pack, will be getting this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to get the stripped down version because I don't want to pay that much for Yeah, exactly. Shipping. No, no, no. You're just going to get a trash bag full of our rando crap. Exactly. And then uh, at TK This is Max, where it's at, dude. I found this NXT Sami Zayn for eight dollars. Um, I wasn't sure. I know they had done a lot of uh, different versions of Sami Zayn, so I wasn't sure which one this was. Luckily, I have uh, someone on speed dial who can check stuff like this, <laughs> and they inform me that... Yeah, uh, check things. Yeah. Doesn't know it off the top of his head. Exactly. <laughs> um, they inform me that's actually uh, quite valuable. So uh, this little puppy will be going up on uh, eBay very, very soon. Yeah, he's got the, the... He was actually... The reason why he actually has a little value to him, uh, he does come with the NXT belt, Yes. Uh, he was also one of the first figures to come with an NXT belt. So for a while, uh, you just yeah, it. it was the only way to get it. Later on, they ended up making a uh, Kevin Owens that has the belt. Um, there's a few others I that think have the Samoa belt. Samoa Joe so. has yeah, a Samoa figure, Joe's yeah. got. But for a while, that was it. That was mm-hmm. the only game in town. So that's awesome. And then I found this. This is also made by Mega Blocks. Um, these are called Kubros. They're basically just cubed versions of characters. This one being Ezio from Assassin's Creed 2 and uh, various other ones. Um, it's super cool looking. I'm uh, interested to uh, open it up and, and build it. So um, you kind of glossed over. You said a few other interesting ones. The other ones are out fucking standing because there is he Oh, no, no. What I'm talking about, I was talking about the other Ezio. Oh, uh, the oh okay. Ezio I was going to say there's Creed. a lot. There's no, a Picard. Been, there was, is yeah, Hellboy. They've been doing these That's for a cheap. bit. Yeah. They, yeah, they've been doing these for a bit, and uh, they have a list of them on the back. I'm really interested in tracking them down, but I don't want to pay full price for them. No. This was only three dollars. Yeah, they so, they randomly pop up. We've seen them between uh, like in that five dollar range. In that five dollar range, which I'm like, yeah, but for three bucks, I can totally build this and keep this on my uh, on my desk at work yeah. so, and uh, make them question me even more. My <laughs> issue with these, and it's kind of my same issue with Mega Blocks in general, is that um, the, the where you can tell the difference between Mega Blocks and Lego is mm-hmm. the way the build goes. Yes. And I feel like when you're building Mega Blocks, it's almost like a 3D printer. You build it from the ground then, up, and it's almost in flat layers up in, until in you get to a certain been, point. And then having build, build uh, Mega Blocks for the last three weeks uh, almost exclusively, that is exactly that's what, what That's yeah. what it is. I actually yeah. have behind us here, these the Zords behind us are Mega Blocks. And it makes for a good-looking uh, piece if it's an angular piece. But once you get to a rounded piece, you realize you're just dealing with flat tiles exactly. over and over and over again. So um, I think with this, it lends itself to the style of the figure. But that building style just drives me insane. To the point where when we're at Toys R Us and I see Mega Block stuff that's cool, I'll go to grab it and my wife will immediately go, No, you don't like those. Stop. <laughs> You're going to complain 20 minutes in that, you're, and, and then she'll do like the dumb asshole voice, like, this fucking dude doesn't feel right. So, and it's always true. What do I feel you? What do I feel your wife does that voice a lot? All the time. And it's always like, you fucking, WWE is awesome. <laughs> Switch your style. But then you run into a WWE fan who, you know, acknowledges your shirt, and then it's yeah. all, yeah, exactly. All right, too sweet, like, guys. Uh, um, so, anyways, um, uh, I also ran into the uh, tor- Turtle Bonanza at both Walgreens but they're so and awesome. Walmart. <laughs> These Series 4 were at Walmart, and they were a dollar seventy-five. so I grabbed all of the ones they had there, and then... Um, uh, Bobby T told me about the Walgreens one, so I went to the Walgreens that was right up the road, and they had even more. Yeah, so I grabbed a ton. They had a bunch of those treasure Transformers trope. there, but I was like, you know what? I knew you were getting those. I'm yeah, like, I don't need. So uh, just so everyone knows, going back to actually what I spent total for everything we opened up until the moment Chris started opening his stuff was around twenty four bucks. Yeah. we opened about thirty five or so action figures. For tw- a little over twenty dollars, yeah. including a game. That's including 
this thing. Yep. Like, yep. that's crazy. So, um, I spent just kind of feeds our point that, you know, you can really get a lot, and you just got to be smart about what you're, you're playing. Yeah, yeah I, I think I spent about 25 too, for everything that, nice. I, that I grabbed, you know. I spent uh, a bit more than that, but not much more, so. Oh, Snapple Apple. Ended up getting uh, Raphael. I did, I did awesome. too. I also did. did. we get three yeah. raps? Yes. We all Deanna got the same rap. Oh, oh yeah, we got Donatello. Stealth Donatello. Oh, yeah. Okay. Black, that's also so a that's double. Cool. Yeah, Is we it? Ever, I think we already have a Stealth No, Donatello. we have oh. Stealth Donatello from the Imaginex style. Oh, figures. yes. It's okay. not, that's not the regular one, yeah. So. All right, so I'm not even going to bother putting this yeah. one together as we currently have three of these, so... Throw that right back in. I have the to say, bag. one of the things I do love about the designs of these is you can, and the designs of the new turtles in general, is you can tell which turtle is which mm -hmm. just by looking at the shell. Yes, or I love there. Raphael's shell because he has yeah. a little lightning bolt crack yep. in, in his upper right. left chest piece. Um, but uh, that is that is uh, one of my one of my favorite uh, things about this new series that they've been doing. All right, so uh, while we're doing this, let's talk about games. Uh, Tim is here. He's quite the gaming fan, so let's, uh, let's see. I refuse to believe that. We have <laughs> recently, um, we've talked a lot about video games recently. We're going into the fourth quarter. A lot of stuff's going to start dropping. What are you excited for, Tim? Not being able to get an Xbox <laughs> I had my pre-order. I, I was on Amazon for that minute and a half they were up. Nice. So, you know, there's that. Um, Having to buy a 4K TV so to make it worth well, it. Well, yeah, I, mean, I, need, I need a 4K Dude, TV what? and a uh, uh, place to keep it. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. What? It, this belt was a pain in the ass. Raphael's hood thing? I think, yeah, I think, I think it was like he was uh, he was undercover or something. It's, this hand is definitely backwards. Like, he's doing it's, one of these. But it spins. No, it doesn't. That spins at the wrist. Oh, there it goes. So it is. <laughs> okay. I, I absolutely I promise know. you that it does. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, Raphael's pretty dangerous. He's got these like uh, spear things that connect to his wrist, and then he's got a scythe, and like he's just a just a weapon. A yeah, no, he's pretty oh, dude it up on this one. Um, he's got actually those pieces are the same wrist pieces that they used for the Shredder figure from Series One that we had opened, which will be in the giveaway. Oh, so please subscribe so we can start giving some of these toys away. Exactly, yeah, we, we have a lot of Zane. toys. No. And we can give no. away that Green Ranger. <laughs> no, yes. and, uh, we can All the Kubros that Martin buys no. from now no. until forever in no. perpetuity. <laughs> oh, please there no. What will I decorate right. my office with? <laughs> the so skulls of the non-believers. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yes, that's exactly how that works. So one of these days we're going to have to do like an overhead or an after photo of what it's like in the arcade oh, after yeah. we're done because the floor is just loaded right now with like Red Bull cans and blind bags. Yeah. It's pretty much and all we do. I mean, There's, well, we are not wearing pants up here. <laughs> these are toilets we're sitting on. All right, so Martin, you got more. Let's, let's, I do, let's I do. roll, these man. Are, uh, these are series threes. I like how we kind of glossed over on what the was. I know, I'm just going to say, we really, he stopped talking. There's not like, I don't even know what I'm buying. I'm buying Star Wars Battlefront 2, probably the South Park game. I watched, so pretty much everything we're going to be Yeah, they showed, they showed, um. Oh, another April. Yeah. We'll just put that right back in the bag. They showed more. Oh, another crane. Another crane, yep. They showed more. They showed the blue guy. All right, we do not have it. Oh, that looks awesome. Crystal Blue that Leonardo, a, yep. Yeah, Clear Leonardo. What's that, Series 3, I think? Yes, um, Series 4. Series four. Uh, so they showed more gameplay for four, the Quattro. For uh, South Park uh, at Gamescom, and yeah, it sealed the deal. Oh, okay. Mario Odyssey. Who's this? Yeah, I'm definitely excited uh, for that. Is another it's rap? Another, yeah. yeah uh, my, uh... uh I, I, hold on, I have a no, no, quick question. Ahead. I know uh, we were talking about South Park. How do you feel about the um, Mario Rabbids uh, RTS game? It looks like XCOM, yeah. which could be cool, but it's one of those games that I'll probably eventually pick it up if they ever get marked down. If not, then I'll never play it. Yeah, they're slow. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much how that game's going to go for me. Mostly because I'm I'm not a fan of like XCOM like like Martin is, because... If I if I play a game and, and like that where it's like a strategy game and it gives you the percentage oh, right there on the screen and it's and like then you miss ninety eight percent chance <laughs> except every time it says ninety eight percent chance you have about a ten percent chance of actually hitting yeah, yeah. that pisses me off that's not how percentages work this is what happens man so I yeah can't, I can't do that 
Can't complain. Alright, so we just uh, opened up back to back. I got an April. You got another uh, Raphael. Yep. So uh, now we're just on our last two here. Stuff. This is my ser- the last Leonardo. series one that what I we got there. Oh, oh uh, that is a third Michelangelo. Yeah, but this one's different. He's got underwear. Uh, yes, underwear yeah. Mike. Oh, I was dude. Waiting for that one. Oh, that's great. Yes. How the hell? Right. Got I got a little thing going cool. on. So, oh yeah, those are really hard. You got to take like one of the arms off. Like a foot clan ninja. No, you can slip it up. Uh, from All the right. There. So like, whoever like, wins is getting a lot of yeah, red Raphaels. There we go. All right. Oh, really? Another red another Raphael. Red Raphael. <laughs> so what do you look forward to, Chris? What are you playing? Uh, dude, Titanfall. Titanfall still play, 2. Still, still playing, <laughs> still playing play Titanfall play. 2 nice and strong. Um, I am, of course, looking forward to the new Wolfenstein game, the new Colossus. Uh, I was a super huge fan of the first one. And uh, I feel like I haven't I've, played I've, Old World yet. Old Blood? Or Old Blood. Yeah, that one is actually a lot harder. Yeah, than yeah. exactly. That was actually a lot more. Man, I drink a lot. <laughs> That was a lot more difficult than uh, than the new order was. Given, which, uh, which, is which means I will never play it yeah. because I can't even finish the new order. <laughs> uh, but I'm excited for I'm excited for the, uh, the for the new Colossus. I'm also looking forward to uh, the Evil Within two sequel. And, you know, this is my biggest problem with with the video game industry. Uh, it seems like this holiday season and Ooh, Chris with the hot take. Yeah, this holiday season and last holiday season, it was nothing but sequels. It's like, all right, cool. I'm looking forward to you know Battlefront two. I'm looking for ba- looking yeah. forward to Battlefield one. I'm looking forward to uh, Titanfall two. I'm looking forward to the Evil Within two. It's like it's twos, threes, four, sevens. Like yeah, we're I, stuck in it. Yeah, it's like I so get it. IP, please. I, I get yeah exactly I get it because you know these games are are obviously um, have sold well so they're um, you know they're popular and stuff like that and, and some of them are, are very good okay. games but I would like something new mm-hmm. you know something that's not a sequel or well, a remake yeah. I was gonna say well you should play Pocket Morty's uh, currently available on almost every gaming platform uh, mobile. That's <laughs> a, I'm playing quite I have a bit. Windows phone. Yeah, except for <laughs> your Windows phone. Um, yeah, I'm really loving that game right now. And what's cool is every week they're adding new Mortys and new characters to the game as new episodes start to come mm. out. So that's really fun. Also, I've been playing a lot of emulators. Uh, usually every year, right around January, went to Remus time, I end up playing um, A Link to the Past at least mm. once a year because it's my favorite game. Uh, I didn't do it this year, so I'm, I'm going back. I went to go put Link to the Past on my computer. And it seems as though Nintendo has made a sweep of all the ROM sites. Uh-oh. There are every third party game yeah. is available for any other systems. Any first party stuff is out. Oh, no. So yeah. Oh, you want to play some Pogs? <laughs> well, they. What that was needed. Uh, yeah, no, they they did that because they are releasing them and they want you to buy them. Yeah, exactly. So classic. Luckily for me, I've been uh, running emulators forever, so <laughs> that's just a matter of. Really going over to the uh, the beer gate here, opening it up, grabbing the uh, raspberry pie out of it, and just mm-hmm. playing that. So, uh, not really too concerned. Pie right here. Uh, that's actually going to be <laughs> like I was saying earlier. One of the things I got uh, crocodile. Oh, awesome! Oh, nice. That's hey, new. a new figure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, I think he should have to fight Baby Crusher. But, yes. Um. So what was it? What was I, I got uh, the new project for you and yes, new project. So we have a golden tee golf game here in the arcade. Um, it has an old CRT screen in it. It does work, Ew. but it kind of looks like crap. Exactly. So I think we might be transforming that into a new arcade, a uh, new MAME arcade, and I uh, we're trying to see if we could fit four sets of controllers into the main board so that we can get games like uh, the du- old Dungeons and Dragons, uh, the Simpsons, Ninja Turtles, Captain and America, Captain Avengers, Avengers. Oh, nice. all the big four players. X-Men. Oh. So that's the... X-Men. Speaking of that, um, have you guys been to that website? It's like um, Merchoid, uh, I think it is, or it, it's it's basically like a licensed um, website where they sell, you know, hoodies and like t-shirts and like that. They have some awesome, awesome uh, official licensed like Marvel hoodies. Mm-hmm. 
dude, they have this uh, one of like the old school um, Cyclops like X Men cartoon one. So it's like that oh, dark blue okay. with the yellow strap going up, and then the cross, <laughs> oh, the Jim Lee style. Yeah, strap. and they've got the uh, uh, a Venom hoodie, uh, like a Sp- not Spider Man yeah. black suit. I think it is a not Venom. Yeah. Um, they also have a really neat Spider-Man one. They have a really cool Punisher one as well. Uh, definitely check it out. Uh, I'm, I'm not 100% uh, sure what the name was. Um, off the top of my head, I think it's Merchoid, like M-E-R-C-H-O-I-D.com. Okay. Um, I was looking around for some hoodies uh, the other day, and uh, they, have, they have some pretty good deals on some of the older ones, around 39 bucks. Some of those newer X-Men and, and Spider-Man one I was talking about is around 54 55 which is normal price for a hoodie uh you know nowadays um but they're super cool if you if you like if you like officially licensed gear check it out they have some really cool stuff i call myself bootleg so oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of bootleg uh there's actually a really cool site called geek jerseys or geeky jerseys i think okay um they make they make jerseys um and they're all you know for the most part not licensed but they're all um uh, geek properties like they have the Serenity <coughs> Brown coats and they have um, uh, oh that's yeah, cool um, the uh, Cthulhu uh, the mi- uh, minute uh, whatever the university I can't think of the damn university oh yeah I don't know but uh, yeah that uh, university uh, and their Miskatonic Miskatonic yeah. University their hockey team I promise uh, you yeah, I, I, yeah. I didn't no no no, 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 just no, no, no that's I, what I, I was looking at it. <laughs> um, but yeah, they. Um, I like. Do I just say it? Just the say hockey, it. you know, the hockey team from Miskatonic University. Mm. So they do a lot of hockey jerseys. They do some baseball jerseys. Um, I'm and, check uh, that out. Football jerseys. But yeah, definitely check them out. They're expensive because they're for the most part handmade yeah. and, and stuff. But uh, they're very, very cool. Oh, uh, nice. I definitely uh, recommend them. Speaking of jerseys, uh, going back to what we're watching. German soccer started uh, uh, last Friday, so I've been watching a Bayern Munich play. They won on Friday, last Friday. They won uh, this morning, so that was awesome. I'm excited for that. And uh, college football is starting. Actually, I technically already started because I think there was a game in Australia. But Texas Longhorn football is starting next Saturday. Uh, so I'm excited for that. I'm going I'm to watch that. And why game. are you excited for Texas well, Longhorns? Cause, well, football. one, because I'm a huge Longhorns fan. I, I love also, college football. And it starts our five. Uh, yeah, that's five right. Contest. That's right. I am having a uh, a friendly com- or a friendly um, competition with our. You know what? Let's make this more than friendly. Sure. We have so that's, many toys yeah. right now that we seriously. I I really yeah, have I think been we can. when we're not on screen. Mm-hmm. This table is full of toys. Oh, yeah, we're going to have like a toy fight after this, like just whipping think, toys around at really, each other. And then, no? We're yeah. this close to Scrooge McDucking yeah. and blind bags. <laughs> like, so basically what I think I'm saying is if somebody wants to throw into the hashtag 5 Alive RRR yep. against Krizza, that if you do win, we will choose of the people of the RRRs mm-hmm. to win a prize pack. And we will put together a whole bunch of stuff. Sad part, I put on the link shirt, and it fits me. Uh, yes, yeah. It fits so. normally. Sorry, guys. So we'll have to have you wear the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one. Oh, one that one is a nightmare. I'll just wear a Tim shirt. There that's you go. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be an original can of Four Loco, by the way. No, no. <laughs> well, that's actually what happened to you when you drank I, Four Loco. Oddly enough, have a can of Four Loco in that refrigerator over there. I bought it a couple of years back, and I'm like, I don't think I want to drink this. But... <laughs> Well, you didn't want to become a crocodile, right? <laughs> well, I kind of did. But... The, uh, and the at, the five, time. at the time. <laughs> the Five Alive RRR hashtag is uh, the competition between Longhorns fans like myself and uh, Oklahoma Sooner fans. So if Texas wins, uh, Sooner fans have to wear some kind of Texas Longhorn gear and take a picture, post it on our Instagram. If uh, Oklahoma wins, I will wear a Sooner shirt on a live show, and yeah. probably that live show because yeah. uh, um, Oklahoma and Texas usually play on uh, on Saturday. Yeah, uh, it's college the, football. Yeah, yep, so, in the, in the afternoon also... it'll be a noon show, so I can uh, if we do a live um, at you know eight or nine or nine or ten, whatever. Uh, I will wear I will wear a, uh, a Sooner shirt. Yep, and you also get a prize package with a bunch of different stuff, including. Uh, you know a lot of the stuff that you see us open, yeah. um, and uh, Bobby T's yeah. beard. Yep, uh, yeah. this this tattoo on yes. uh, Chris's arm. She's <laughs> gonna rip the skin right <laughs> off of it. Why does he have a ketchup mustache? And no one knows, dude. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a mystery. So, uh, yeah, so um, 
there's also a couple other hashtags out there. There's Five Alive R R uh, A R R R, yeah. which is our pirate themed uh, hashtag. Hey, Anytime you, uh, yes, uh, there's senior the, citizen. There's the senior, senior citizen Five Alive <laughs> hashtag. If you're uh, if you're a senior citizen and you're a fan of Five Alive, you use the Five Alive A A R P. Um, there's uh, yeah, there's uh, Five Alive Y A. A R P, which is if you're a man child from the movie Hot Fuzz, <laughs> <laughs> you would use that. <laughs> Dude, you know what's crazy about that? That just to kind of to derail that a little bit. Yarp is the freaking the hound. The hound, mm-hmm. yeah. Crazy. Did you see the uh, the little video that him and Tormund put yes. up? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. It's adorable. Um, <laughs> so then, also, uh, you stub your toe. Pissed off, yeah. but you want to kind of get yourself back up in, in good spirits. Listen to some Five Live and use the hashtag Five Live A R G H. <laughs> now, again, I think you know what? When we get to that hundred, because of the amount of toys we have, <laughs> I feel like if you use any of these hashtags, Dude, we're yeah, gonna check just, them out, and yeah, someone's gonna a, win toys. Make up yeah. a hashtag for us. Yep. Just Five it. Alive. Yep. I made up a hashtag. Hashtag G R A. GR the number eight Great. Or yeah, if yeah, you've had a, if you've had an awesome week of finding you know clearance toys, exactly. hashtag, or you're just or you're just Avril Lavigne, not a fan, just the actual person Avril Lavigne. There you go, hashtag GR. If if you think that the the proletariat needs to go down and that it no, is no, no, all no, about no, the proletariat needs to go up. Oh, it needs yeah. to go yeah, up. Uh oh, my friend. Uh oh. Yeah. So then I guess that would be the five alive. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> get your get your propaganda, get your propaganda right. right. It's so not, five alive propaganda. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag five alive death of the bourgeoisie. <laughs> Just five alive chrism. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh boy. <laughs> the amount of hashtags are ridiculous. What's funny is no one's gonna use them. I don't care. We're not gonna get a hundred subscriber for like what, a month. What was the one that we came up with that was really wish, good uh, while we were eating? Uh, we were, you know, we were talking about dinner upstairs, and we we there was an, uh, ha- an awesome hashtag we came up with. Hot hot dish. Even was it? No, no. I mean, uh, <laughs> Five left <like>, hot dish. <laughs> hot dish. Hot dish. <laughs> I'm coming in hot with my poo job in prison. Oh, so you know what? I, I'm gonna say it again for about the thousandth time. Um, what I'm watching again. Rick and Morty, and yeah. loving these well, as, figures. As, as my son says, we're Rick be, and Morty! We're going to be giving these away, too. To the yep. I will yeah. smack your face. <laughs> we will give Hashtag, all. I will smack your face. We'll Five Alive, I will you're smack getting, your You're face. getting these, you're getting that Rick statue from the Loot Crate two weeks ago. Yeah, you know what? Perfect, this... perfect hashtag. Hashtag, Five Alive, nope. <laughs> you're also, you're also going to get this shirt. Uh, these are mine. <laughs> that says, not a chance. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, with that, I think we have been Five Alive. I am Bobby T. I'm Martin. And I'm Chris, who keeps rubbing up on Bobby We're T's rubbing legs. Yeah, he's well, you're closer. <laughs> you know what it is? It's, it's that I'm sitting in a barber chair, so the, the feet do stick out. Uh, and Tim, Tim, it's your turn to say your name. I'm Tim. <laughs> I was <Yeah>. present. Hilter. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, hold on. present. Hold he's on. I've got an, I, I do have another hashtag. Uh-oh. What's that? Hashtag. No technical difficulties so far. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. All right, I'm leaving that now. At Five Alive VP, we're good across the board. No more V E E P E E. That is fixed. Yay! So it's all one thing. So it's Five Alive VP, Twitter, Instagram, and the Facebook. Let us know what you uh, what you think. Click like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and get ready to see us at New York Comic Con because yeah. yes, we have Comic-Con set some things up. up. We set up some huge stuff this week. It was a really good huge, week for Five Alive. Huge, huge stuff. We are making Five Alive great again. <laughs> and leave a hashtag. Yes. 